in 2016. The biggest mistake I made was, was thinking that more was better. I wanted to be on the podium so badly that I was just pushing and pushing and pushing myself and I never let myself rest when I was tired or I wasn't performing well on a certain day. I would think that I just needed to be doing more. Rhythm and strength. Ten seconds coming up to base speed. Stay focused. Everything central. And that I wasn't doing enough and I just pushed myself into a hole. In the past, I've wanted to have 100% control over exactly what it is I'm doing. And, um, and I think with that, I haven't allowed myself to totally trust in the process. Having that control has gotten me so far, but to take that next step, it's become something that's holding me back. I promised to Matt, my coach, that you know I wasn't gonna overdo it this year. I felt a lot of anxiety to not be doing more, but as I'm going through this process, I am feeling just better and better. And it is giving me more confidence to, that this really is the right, right path towards achieving the goal that I wanna achieve. I think that there's always this voice in the back of your head saying, can I be doing more? As an athlete, you wanna be pushing yourself to the next level, and you don't wanna be leaving any stone unturned. It comes down to your confidence and, and your willingness to say, hey, I'm tired today. It's okay to go three hours, or it's okay to run for 90 minutes and not two hours. And, and be confident psychologically in the process that you're going through. I still am working really hard. I don't want there ever to be a question that I couldn't have worked harder. That's not how you actually necessarily get to be the best. You get to be the best because of a plan that is really going to be the best suited for you. Part of what's gotten me so far in this sport is like a profound belief in myself and what I'm, what's possible and what I'm capable of doing. I want to be the best athlete that, that I can and I want to get the most out of myself and I understand that sometimes it's these mental hurdles that are necessary to actually get to that next step in performance. One of the things that I've had to do this year is, is start working with a sports psychologist to help with that confidence and comfort level of the fact that more is not always better and giving up that control and um, putting 100% of my trust in, in other people to kind of guide me down the, the path towards success. If I win the world championships and my volume is less than it was last year, it doesn't matter. That's, 